The choices of leaders that we elect today means they have to stay with us until the end of the road. What comes into your mind when one of the leaders that you choose use a derogative language or an abusive language to describe one of the person who elected him or her into the government or the power that he is in now? This is a street de debate and this is Jetka Media. My name is Kevin Yego. I'm Brian. For me personally, I'll think, uh, at first I thought it was a joke, I thought it was a meme, mm. I thought uh, it was something uh, people with malicious intent came out with. Mm -hmm. Then, only then did I realize it's something that is true. Mm -hmm. And uh, my shock turned into horror. And uh, for me personally, I was like, it can't be true. Mm -hmm. By the way, my, my initial thoughts would have been, it can't be true. Oh, I know, I know. That I have there. actually waited to be confirmed. When mm -hmm. uh, other media sources started talking about it, mm -hmm. is when I was like, okay, mm -hmm. this something is true. Mm -hmm. Because uh, for an elected official, mm -hmm. you wouldn't uh, assume mm -hmm. he will say something like that in such a crude manner. Mm -hmm. Even if he had been offended, mm -hmm. he has a responsibility on behalf of his office that was handed to him. and. Uh, it turned to horror by All the way. Right. It was it was crazy. Obviously, obviously, because uh, if your boss says something, it is assumed that's how your organization feels about it. Because uh, your leaders are a direct representation of who you are and who uh, the caliber of person you are. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I think it's it's something that uh, the ruling government should really crack down on because uh, they are painting a bad picture to the world. Mm -hmm. They are showing that they don't want mm -hmm. to be questioned on what they do and uh, how they are supposed to be. My name is Isu Abdinasir Karani. Uh, I'm pursuing communication and journalism. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I don't think, you know, for our leaders to... I don't think it's right for our leaders to malign the media. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, when they try to malign the media, they are taking us back to the uh, the Moy the Moy eras mm -hmm. when the media had no any freedom, mm -hmm. I don't think that's right. right. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, for me, I, I don't think uh, the speech of the deputy president mm -hmm. regarding the media and that of Moses Kuria mm -hmm. are intertwined because you know every person holds uh, a different uh, office mm -hmm. and everyone has. His uh, own perspective. Yeah, because the moment the uh, the cabinet secretary see their mm -hmm. deputy president, mm -hmm. you know, uh, chastising the media mm -hmm. wrongfully, they will follow suit mm -hmm. and do what their boss is doing.